Hey everybody, this is David at Homestead Hacks and Hens. When it comes to feeding your chickens, this may be a little noisy. Geese, goose and gander are very vocal. I'm feeding what I found today, or yesterday actually at the grocery store. And it, if you have any of these discount food outlets around, we have one called United Grocery. There's one in Chatsworth and one in Dalton. And right now they're having sales, a sale on uh, tortilla shells, 20 of them for $1. Now that's quite a bit of uh, flour. That's probably five pounds right there, and that's probably five pounds. So you, you probably got 10 pounds of food for a dollar, and uh, probably more than that. It, that's, those bags are pretty heavy. So that, that comes to a nickel, nickel piece. I'm going to go back and get some more. I wasn't sure because I've tried to feed it to chickens before, and they just didn't eat much of it. And... But they, these seem to be taking it no problem. Throw it out there on the ground for them, and they're just, uh, so far, they're taking to it really good. Now, when it comes to cost, you're trying everything you can do when, when you're trying to raise your own chickens as far as whether it's for meat or egg production. And you gotta you got to take these little steps to try to get cheap food for your chickens and you know ask around too you may have some of these mom and pop restaurants that has nothing nobody coming to get their food because a lot of farmers uh, I've asked at grocery stores and a lot of them say well we already have people coming to get them but there's a lot of restaurants and there's a lot of grocery stores and what you want to do is feed your chickens as much as, as stuff like this that you can to reduce your feed bill. Uh, like I talked before about the lane pellets, that's very expensive. Very expensive eggs. I mean, if I pin these chickens up and 28 chickens, they would probably go through a bag very quickly. And and if this was a 50 pound bag, I, I seen a, a 20 pound, 25 pound bags Engels brand yesterday and it was $14.50 for a 25 pound bag now I know you can get it cheaper at a uh, at a feed store or tractor supply but it's still high it's still for and and everybody's going to 40 pound bags now instead of 50 pounds or you know cutting costs and charging the consumer more and and also too you don't know what is in all that stuff because if that's the staple of their diet, now I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, you don't know what are in these. Yeah, but this is very little, this is very little part of their nutrition. It's not like they get tons of this. 80% of everything they eat is out here in the grass. That's worms, bugs, grubs, and everything they can catch. And then come time around June, when you get the, the big June bugs, in July, when you get the Japanese beetle bugs, uh, it, everything's going to increase. Their their amount of eating is is going to increase, and they're going to be well well fed. So that's things you got to think about, and uh, trying to catch your cost. Uh, that corn it does very well. Um, instead of feeding lane pellets. Now, if you if you pinned them up and just fed them corn, it wouldn't work. But you you gotta understand it's the combination of everything that you're giving them that makes a difference. You know, they got the corn and they got the scraps and they got all the grass and then they got all the bugs. It's a combination of all those different things that'll make your chickens lie. You're giving them a variety of stuff and at low cost, at very cheap low cost. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna time that's one video I'm gonna make. I'm going to let them empty this feeder out, and I'm going to put one 40-pound bag of corn in there. That's about $10.99 at Tractor Supply, and I'm going to say exactly how long it takes to run that bag down, and I'll make a video of that later on. But anyway, just wanted to give a little 
uh, tip for people trying to save money on their on their uh, food cost. Uh, go around it, you know, ask the managers, because they got to do something with that old produce. And a lot of them, uh, they're getting to where they won't give it away, but some of them will set it by the dumpster too. So, so that'll help too. So don't forget, folks. Just a little tip from Homestead Hacks and Hens. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Homestead Hacks and Hens.